The best response to the question, why now, can be to turn the question on its head. It is time for the African superhero. From the beginning of time, people have learned of the past through tales that were told to them from those who witnessed the event, and even those who claim that they did. It is often said that history is told from the eyes of the victors. These victors tell tales of cultures that once was from their own perspective, so as to pass their certain beliefs and ideas and values from one generation to the next. America has entrenched itself in the eyes of the world as not only the world's superpower, but the greatest nation on earth. The use of icons in the form of superheroes were essential tools in achieving the above stated effect. Superman, the world's first superhero, appeared to be an advocate for social justice, individualism, and to fight for victims of social factors beyond their control at a time where America was facing depression. While Batman was created at a time in America's history where the Great Depression called for heroes who could set an example by showing how to solve big problems in times of crisis and thus demonstrated how to cope with difficult situations. It is amazing how the effect of this American idol still holds sway till this day. I would argue that one in three people know who Superman and Batman are and would embody the characters that symbolize strength and grit that these heroes show through hope. What most people do not know, that most of the extremely popular icons all wear the colors of the American flag. These icons have been so entrenched in us that the word Superman or Wonder Woman symbolize strength, which inevitably says that you are my American icon. Africa is full of icons who have fought for not only our survival as a people, but for our very way of life. Yet, we have not embraced this ancient but effective way of communicating through the concept of superheroes to pass on beliefs and shape the perception of our generation. I hear people say, children of nowadays, Nigeria has no hope. The youths are lazy. Our country is corrupt. We must understand all we are today is a complete combination of our thoughts, traditions, and lessons that we have been passed down and that we have been exposed to. My question is when and how do we cause correct? I say that it is time we create icons for the generation that is coming. Creating heroes that will not only show us the right thing to do, but will also shape and influence their thoughts and decisions in order for them to live better lives. It is time for the African superhero. It is time that we not only show the world what we are capable of, but to teach the next generation who they can be, remembering that the only limit there is, is us. If not now, then when? True, if not now, then when? Mm. Um, we're past the time, even. And so we can only do catching up now. And I completely, absolutely, like um, my brother, Bayabo will say, I'm a perfect stimulacrum. With your, <laughs> with your advocacy mm -hmm. and um, you know uh, the generations um, who can use some of these um, African heroes superheroes mm -hmm. also you know to mentor um, you see little children these days want to be Batman want to be Superman wants to be you know Spider-Man Spider-Man and mm -hmm. you know but there is no that you know African superhero that would come to liberate you know, Africans, all that would fight corruption, for yeah, example. Yeah, I did once challenge, you know, the Minister for, Informa for yes, Information and National Orientation. That way people are doing in the um, National Orientation Agency. You need to create characters. Do they exist? To be able to also fight Embody corruption. Take, for example, ideas. you know, people are, are stealing. Or Boko Haram. And then you have this superhero like Superman. Mm. He comes. Mm. And, he, you know, you need to create those kind of... And then also it will encourage some persons to say, I want to go join the army, mm -hmm. so, you know, to be able to. But we just sit down and look for how to take money, make money. If you come up with that idea now, you'll be surprised. The, the line of, uh, of um, bureaucracy that you okay. will meet okay. oh, will be unimaginable. At the end of the day, somebody will just take your proposal, take it somewhere, they'll collect money and not enough. But you know, about, sorry, let me quickly on. take mm. you on the National Orientation Agency one. And, and this is, I feel strongly about it. 
many times regarding national issues, we'd ask the question, what is the National Orientation Agency doing? Okay. And the question I asked while you were talking was, do they still exist? They exist too. If There's they a budget exist, for them. can we have some innovative leader there? No. Because this is also part Hold of on, what they should do. How, you said something, you said the only limit there is, it's is us. us. So yeah. we're the ones limiting ourselves. Yes. You have a national orientation agency, and for years they've still not come up with a plan about or for superheroes of the nation. There is the Queen Amina of where? There is the Queen Emoto of where? There is a... Jaja of uh -uh. We do need superheroes now more than ever because this is when people are losing hope. And what superheroes do is it takes you out of the realm of what is possible to imagine what you haven't even conceived of. Because a lot of times when you tell people you can live without bribing, they say, ah, you're not in Nigeria, you're not flesh and blood. So we need to take it out of the realm of flesh and blood mm -hmm. to start portraying ideals. We don't need to wait for government. I know Libros always ah. says we should. <laughs> but if you do, you'll be waiting a long time. Well, yes, yeah. push for government to do their own. But you yourself also recognize the potency of role modeling. Whether in your own lives, whether in the way you tell stories to your children, find a way to embody those ideals. Don't give up on them. Every country, every institution starts from the family. And I think if all of us take the responsibility, you know, to basically push this message where we consciously want to create icons or look for these icons with people that look like us, right? Because most people don't understand between the age one to five, human beings don't have a personality yet, right? right? The personality forms from everything they have been exposed to. That's why your child will talk like you. That's why your people around you will pick your expressions. But if you can, within that time, influence their thoughts, if you can make a five-year-old believe that a Nigerian is the most faithful, diligent person, and then you go on to repeat that same information between one and 15, you have somebody who is upright. Right. But when we have you know, households that keep talking about Nigeria is bad, the government is corrupt, we must do this, we must do that. You know, I'm a Yoruba man, language. I'm an Igbo man. Mm. Instead of heroes that come out and say, I will fight no matter who you are, the color of your skin, simply because it is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. mm. That, that's where and the whole generation will change. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I, yes. I, I think, yes, so I think in the end, truly, I, I like, I, I can see now the superhero thing, because a superhero is different from a hero. A superhero right. is, is fictional, comic, you know, yes. that sort of thing. Because I'm of the school of thought that we have no heroes in Nigeria, <laughs> uh, real heroes. So the best yeah, thing is, I, now, I like how you've come up now that the way we could move ahead is, mm -hmm. and as Ikeni said, we're moving from the normal to a, so, so a sort another of level. other level mm -hmm. where we can just drag people up there and before they know it, they are being made to that, change. That's where I disagree since, with Since Ikeni. we can change with the normal heroes that yeah. we have. Because yeah. That's where I disagree with Ikeni. <laughs> you can only drag from your little environment. You talk about from five years and then you keep repeating. What do you hear your government say consistently? Scale. Your president went mm. abroad and say, Nigerians are corrupt. They are thieves. And, and so, here you hear the government talk about religion, division, and all was not. So it's now, we've created from a little end. Government had to take it up from... from, from uh, sorry, from if there. it was down to government, even we here wouldn't be thinking the way we yeah, do. Yeah, but the government should scale up on the things I know, but government yeah, can't be the same. And they should pick up government on the things be the that individuals do. do. Yeah. They should we agree. pick up on what's coming No, we agree, but I, I can't accept have. that government yes. has the rate-limiting factor. Yes. They should do it. I will always insist. That's why we advocate. But they can't If they had taken it from there... You know where we would have been. No, but he's still doing what he's doing. supporting Jide with what he does. We will, we will push for that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, well, I, I wanted to just it. make a slight comment about what you said, right? Mm -hmm. The thing about heroes, and I just need to throw that heroes are not perfect mm -hmm. and icons are not perfect. I do think we have heroes in Nigeria. Some people will not agree. They might have part of their lives because they're human that are not exemplary. But for the things that they've done, we can make them icons and focus on the good things. If you look at American history, they've murdered thousands of people in occupying land and acquiring wealth. But they always only focus on the good side. And I think if we do that on our past heroes, then. I hope I got some of you stirred up. And like Chuka, you're hearing the team tune in your head. After the break, Libros is certainly stirred up and seeks to infect the rest of us and even you too.